How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. Oh my, he... In the last episode we got some complaints about my steel gloves. Use this bubbly bubbly on the ugly ugly. And there we go, Scratch Ugly Gluggly is completed. This means we can now upgrade to the black gloves so you, the person in the YouTube comments who hated on my steel gloves, here you go. All right, it's time to get my Slayer up. We are 49 Slayer, we're gonna do some Slayer tasks here. 7 to 6, range, okay. One Slayer task, completed, 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 completed. There's been a few updates to PvP World since my last episode, one of them being that PKers and people can enter my house anytime I'm online, no matter if I'm inside or outside the house. There we go, 50 Slayer, 19 Lizards, and there's a scout here. 75 minutes of mining, 1700 Stardust, a lot of crafting experience. My computer have disconnected. Okay, I'm in the middle of nowhere and my PC just disconnected. Like, what is going on here? What is going on? First time happening. I got a, I got a X log. Don't tell me this is the end. All right, please. Thank you, oh my god, I'm still alive. After that disconnection, I felt like I needed a break and make myself feel better. And something that always makes me feel great is a new fresh shave. And coincidentally, Manscaped is today's video sponsor. As you all know, Manscaped have been a part of this channel for a very long time now. They are mostly known for their performance package 4.0, which includes their premium lawnmower 4.0 body hair trimmer and crop preserver ball deodorant. However, I am happy to present their brand new safety razor Plow 2. 2.0, a razor for super close shave for your face, neck and beard. If you're a fan of a single blade close shave solution with a maximum performance, this is the one for you. It is very easy to use, simply let the blade glide smoothly over the curves of your face using one long stroke at a time. And if you decide to get anything from Manscaped, be sure to check out the Shed Travel Bag for easy and convenient travel. Go to manscaped.com slash engineer to get 20% discount plus free international shipping plus two free gifts. The discount is automatically applied at checkout. Okay, 70 strength, 74 hit points. Okay, I forgot my... Oh my god, I forgot... Oh, we got the Dragon Defender! It's done! I was just about to say that we forgot Super Strength and Super Attack, but we don't need that anymore. We got the Dragon Defender! Very good start of today. So even though I have the Dragon Defender, I must say, the Cyclops is actually a decent moneymaker. Ah, a backup Dragon Defender in case I die. This is going to be 63 combat? No, 63 attack. And 83 combat. Okay, let's get some bag of full gems. And there we go, 60 crafting. Some upgrades here. You birdhouse is probably the biggest one. Wait, there's no way this is a safe zone shooting star. No way. One tile away from being a safe zone. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this guy told me there's a shooting star in DLB. <laughs> and look at him. <laughs> 64 attack. I decided to complete another quest, the golem, which is for a recipe for disaster, I believe. Alfred's Grim Hands Bar Crawl have now been completed. Beautiful. There we go. Horror from the Deep have been completed. We we have unlocked the damaged book. We can also I'm also gonna unlock the armadil one. I, I do believe I have some pages for that one. Three out of four armadil pages. Uh no samurai pages though. Okay, another bright photo kill. Lawrence, okay. I was actually low on Lauren, so that's a great drop. I decided to complete one of the scary quests for a PvP hardcore Iron Man, the Temple of Ikov. It is scary for two reasons, one of them being that you have to carry 20 limp roots to an NPC, which puts you at 8 food. And the second reason is that the most of the quest is taking place in multi. However, no PKs were around and I managed to safely complete this quest. Oh, there's the Dragon Infling. It's been a while since I caught one of these. Yes, we got one. Three, two, one. That's the last thing I want, that's for sure. Oh, look what I have found. 
a shooting star 47 minutes at the crash star we got 1000 stardust three gem bag here we go 65 attack here we go 61 defense 84 combat i haven't really killed his spore in a while I lost so much food doing this hope it's worth it anything <sighs> nope i've decided to complete in medium my first medium achievement diary corin and keba here is elise Boom, we have a Radis Blessing number two and an Atiko Lamp. Yeah, we're gonna do Herblore. What is that? 7.5k to Herblore. Big Herblore level 63, Super Restore can now be made. I ju I'm just waiting for that day where I can make Saradome and Bruce. Like, look, 81 Herblore. There's such a long journey down there. We got five more gem bags, pretty decent. And there we go, 6 to 1 crafting. What the fuck? Huh, who was that? I've never seen that name before. All right, found a shooting star and we got 76 mining. There's a reason why I have been mining so much shooting stars recently. It's because I want 62 crafting so I can upgrade my shield to a green dragon hide shield for increased magic defense bonus. I decided to collect two green dragon hides for the shield in the wilderness. Nothing scary happened. And we're out. Oh shit, so what? Someone was actually waiting here. Tanning the green dehyde, and we completed a Mauritania task. I just looked this up. This guy's stankers can give me a poison chalice, which is gonna boost my. It's gonna boost my crafting, so I don't need to get 62 crafting. 62, beautiful. There we go. And we have an upgraded green dehyde shield. Uh, if we compare it to the snakeskin shield, plus 121 magic defense, upgraded to 123. Plus, it looks nicer for the thumbnail. 3, 2, 1, 50, no. There we go, 58 cooking. I just want to do one barrel chest before bed. Uh, what we need? Tank legs, good luck. And we get nothing. Second chest of today? For nothing, death runes. I've decided to do another achievement diary, the Mauritania one. And I only have one left to do. Make a scarecrow in the flower patch. How do I do this? There we go, Scarecrow. Put the Scarecrow down. And there we go. All the tasks have been completed. Mortina Diary completed and we now have another Antique Lamp. All Diary Lamps, I'm putting it on Herbro because it's probably the slowest skill for me to level up. And one of the more important ones. 2.5k. There we go, we got a medium casket. 3, 2, 1, manacles please. Yeah, absolutely nothing. I'm jumping around a lot. We got 59 fletching right now. There we go. Another chest incoming. Good luck. Nothing. Oh shit. Someone actually found me. I guess we're in safe zone now. CSGO is on. That means I'm here in the safe zone thieving for 69 thieving. Nice. And 70 thieving. That's enough. There we go. 62 defense. I'm here woodcutting and I get this DM. Yo, star spawn at raids to be careful though, peekers. Can I trust this man that there is a star here? Because I don't want to teleport away from here. I'm gonna trust him, but if he's lying, I'm putting him on the ignore list. I. Uh, it, it was this guy again. There we go. 76 farming. Oh my holy shit. It's been a few months since I trained at this spot. Experiment number two. There we go, 63 defense. There we go, 64 defense. So I got four crystal keys. Uh, might as well open them while my house is in Taverly. And we get runes, you no thank you. And we get more runes. Cosmic, cosmic is actually good. And law runes is actually good. This is the level I have been waiting for. There we go, 65 defense. 85 combat. There's two things we can do now. Firstly, we can get slay task from Neve, and then we have this other thing as well, which we have unlocked. We now have all the requirements for doing King's Ransom. And also, if anyone is curious, from killing 200 experiments, we have gotten 75k in high alts from Mystic Earth staffs and plenty of herbs. Look, 100 terramins. All right, we're getting ourselves a fuck task. I was gonna say task, but. There was a peak here there waiting for me. Yeah, Mr. Impy. What's the chances I can hop and just go there? <laughs> Iron Dragons. He got the TB, but Iron Dragons, yeah. All right, we're skipping the task. Um, I'm not doing Iron Dragons. All right, new chance at the task. Give me something nice. 
Fire Giants, beautiful. We do love Fire Giants. So hopefully I'll be able to do the full task here at the Fire Giants. We get 111 experience per kill. Okay, someone's here pretending to do the quest. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's looking at me. Any luck? Nothing. 54 kill count this early morning barrel chest. Number two for today. We get nothing. Oh, there is a BK right here. Uh, I should probably just go. We got a hit points level, 75. Lower chance of getting one bank. There we go, 51 Slayer. Mm, uh, all right, that's my second curve bone ever. Here is the BK here. He's getting smited by the spider. <laughs> yeah, he's getting PJ'd by the spider. Look. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna try to spec me out. Should I go in? He tried. He tried. He tried. I get some entertainment here in the top right corner. Oof me versus Ski. Oh, Ski is dead. Oof me is the winners. Good fight, Ski. All right, guys. See you guys in an hour. Another star have in mind. 1,000 stardust. We are going on a quick trip to Fossil Island. I've realized that these birdhouses occasionally give me really good seeds, papaya tree seed, dragon fruit tree seed, that's what I mean. Like this is plenty of farming experience. Here comes the level, there we go, 59 cooking. Did this guy just suicide this hardcore I meant to be on video? He died! 71 thieving. Too many hunters started to find out about my fire giant slayer task when I only had 20 left, uh, so it was on lockdown for a while. But I managed to sneak in the final kills during a weird time zone and I completed the task and we got 180 points and just to look at the rewards here we want 750 points for a rune pouch that is the reward we're going for so this entire episode I have been trying to make money for one specific upgrade and now after high alking this diamond ring we now have 750k and if your game knowledge is good, you probably know where I'm gonna spend this 750k on. This is the item we want, the crystal shield. This is gonna be my best in slot range defense shield. And this is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We did a lot. I must say we did a lot, but the episode was all over the place. And that's kind of how I need to start playing uh, because of the amount of hunters hunting me. And just a reminder, if you haven't already, give the video a like. And the bounty have increased by 25 mil, putting the bounty at 8 billion 125 million. Hello, it is time for me to once again inject you guys with some Swedish culture. And here in Sweden, we Swedes, we do love to drink. So what I'm gonna show you is a Swedish drink we always drink every single summer. This drink goes under the name Hot Shot and it includes three ingredients vanilla flavored liquor, coffee and whipped cream or spray cream. And to make this drink you start off by pouring some vanilla liquor into the shot glass. Uh, I would say a third of the glass should be liquor. And then you add some coffee into the glass. I would say a third here as well. And make sure to use a spoon to pour in the coffee to make sure that the coffee layer goes on top of the liquor layer. And then the easiest part, just add some whipped cream to the glass and you're pretty basically done. If you want to spice it up, you can sprinkle some chocolate on top of the whipped cream as well. And with that being said, cheers! I just realized I am so poor right now. I only got 2.4k. I need to make a lot of money in the next episode.